Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Chelsea were humiliated against fierce rivals Arsenal to ramp up the pressure on Mauricio Pochettino. Pochettino made four changes to the Blues side that were narrowly beaten at Wembley Stadium on Saturday. And it started in the worst possible way for Chelsea with Leandro Trossard taking advantage of some really poor defending from the visitors on four minutes at the Emirates Stadium. It somehow stayed 1-0 until the halftime break, but when the teams came back onto the pitch, it was once again all Arsenal. The Gunners quickly made it 2-0 after Ben White tapped in with Chelsea struggling to deal with a short corner routine from the hosts. It was soon 3-0 and an absolute nightmare for Chelsea. Kai Havertz, the man who joined Arsenal from the Blues last summer, got on the end of a pass from Martin Odegaard and slotted the ball into the roof of the net. Havertz got another not too long after. Bukayo Saka was allowed to run inside of the box and lay it off to the German, who fired the ball low and hard into the bottom corner to make it 4-0. White then got his second of the game as well. The Arsenal right-back looked to cross it to the far post after a poor defensive line from Chelsea and it went in the top corner. That is the way it stayed at the Emirates. An absolute shambles for Chelsea. Bobby Vincent has rated each of the Chelsea players on their performance out of 10. Take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are bumping here for the very first time. Jorge Petrovic, 5. The Serbian doesn't cover himself in glory early on for Trossard's goal. The ball sneaks in off his legs somehow. He kept his head up, though and made two really strong back-to-back -back saves on 26 minutes to keep Chelsea in the game. Petrovic actually had a decent game, bar his mistake, which, to be fair, is a pretty big thing to excuse. He makes another very good save to deny Rice early in the second half and again moments later to turn it round the post to stop Havert scoring. Alfie Gilchrist, 3. Gilchrist had a tough time up against Trossard, Rice and Takahiro Tomiyasu, who were all attacking down Arsenal's left-hand side. Axel de Seisai, 3. De Seisai did not perform well. It was a surprise he came back into the side at centre-back. Why didn't Thiago Silva and Trevo Chalaba, who have both been impressive in recent matches, continue their partnership in the centre of the Blues' defence? Benoit Badiashile, 2. A shock start for Badiashile. He kept giving the ball away and was not able to impose himself physically against Kai Havertz. Mark Cucurella, 5. Up against Saka, one of the most difficult challenges for a fullback in the league. He did well in the first half considering the circumstances. That was not the case in the second period, though, and it was far too easy for Saka to run inside and set Havertz up for his second goal of the game. Moises Caicedo, 5. Caicedo needs to do more. These are the sort of games he needs to shine in, but the setup of Chelsea's midfield, which is not his fault, leaves some big questions. They are too far apart in possession which makes it so difficult to retain the ball. Enzo Fernandez, 4. It's far too easy from Declan Rice's point of view to just stroll to the edge of the box. Fernandez was nowhere to be seen. Noni Maduk, 4. Maduk showed a few glimpses on the right wing but was contained pretty well. There's a player there somewhere but we need to see so much more from him. Connor Gallagher, 4. Gallagher was really quiet. You cannot recall too many times where the England international did anything of note. Mikhaila Mudrik, 2. Mudrik looked lost at times. Defensively, he was unable to help Kukurella out with the threat of Saka. In attack, there was loads of space ahead of him that was not exploited. I just do not see what he adds to this Chelsea side in games like this. Nicholas Jackson, 4. Hold-up play was very good from Jackson. Almost forced a goal out of absolutely nothing just over 20 minutes in when a cross was deflected onto the post and behind. But once again, his finishing let him down. On the hour mark, he had a great chance to get one on the board for the visitors but put it wide from close range. Substitutes Raheem Sterling, 
not applicable, Sterling came on after the fourth goal. Could not get involved. Trevo Chalaba, not applicable. Why didn't he start? Cesare Cassade, not applicable. Some more minutes. Tiago Silva, not applicable. Why didn't he start? That's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. With that said and done, see you later with another video. Until then, bye bye.